WRRS, bring you the latest intermediate school news. Hello intermediate school, and I want to welcome you here to the channel at WRRS on March 11, 2022. I'm Joseph Kilmer. This station prides itself with bringing you the latest in the intermediate school news. This week we are highlighting the fourth grade teachers in our school. There's Mrs. Oyer, Mr. Scholes, Mrs. Ziegenfuss. Mrs. Hillman and co-teacher Mrs. Illy. Mrs. Loro is a fourth grade aide. Mrs. Moravik is a fourth grade consultant. And we want to welcome Mr. Welch to the intermediate school family. He is our new fourth grade teacher. We want to thank them for everything they do to make us the best person we can be. We want to wish all of them a fantastic year. We hope it goes swimmingly well for them. This week, WRRS picked the octopus because it is a very interesting fish. Listen to these interesting facts about the octopus. There are around 300 species of octopus usually located in tropical and temperate ocean waters. They are divided into finned deep sea varieties that live on the ocean floor and finless shadow water varieties found around coral reefs. Octopuses have two eyes and a globe-shaped head off which protrude eight long limbs called tentacles that have two rows of sucker senses. An octopus has a hard beak, like a parrot beak, which they use to break into and eat their prey, such as crab, crabs and shellfish. Octopuses are believed to be highly intelligent compared to other invertebrates. An octopus main an octopus's main de defense against predators such as sharks is to hide and camouflage itself by using certain skin cells to change its color. This can also be used to talk with or warn other octopuses. Another defense is to make a fast escape. Oct octopuses can eject a thick blackish ink in a large cloud to distract the predator while the octopus uses the octopus uses a siphon jet propulsion system to quickly swim away ahead first with arms trailing behind. A last ditch defense is for the octopus to shed a tentacle similar to how a gecko or lizard can discard a tail. An octopus is able to regenerate or regrow a lost tentacle. Octopuses have very good of eyesight and, and excellent sense of touch. Humans eat octopus in many cultures and it is also a popular fish bait. The giant octopus, the giant Pacific octopus is the largest octopus in the world. The octopus will feed is the smallest octopus in the world. Octopuses' bodies is without skeletons, means they don't have bones in their arms or body. Their body is super flexible. An interesting fact is that there is only one hard part in the octopus body, beak. The beak is made of cartilage and is located inside the head and it helps them to squeeze their heads get them out of en from anywhere. That doesn't make sense. As octopuses are among the most flexible animals on Earth, a large octopus can slip inside a small bottle like a pop bottle. Its flexibility allows them to wiggle and bend into small places such as between rocks to hide from, other en from their enemies. The arms of an octopus can have over 200 suckers that are made of tiny complex muscles. These suckers are very much helpful helpful for them like helping in tearing flesh, lifting heavy weight, holding the ocean surface firmly, capturing prey, and also tasting, etc. Yes, it is true, octopus tastes with a lot of help from suckers. One circle of the giant Pacific octopus can lift objects as heavy as 35 pounds. Octopuses are super <coughs> experts in camouflage. They use their color to camouflage Octopuses have special color cells in their skin. When they want to camouflage itself, 
the color cells get activated and its skin pulls out different combinations of colors like brown, yellow, and red to match with its surroundings. The two smaller parts pump blood to the gum, while the third larger one circulates to the rest of the body. Octopuses have blue blood because the blood contrasts the copper-based pigment hemocyanin. Hemocyanin. Hemocyanin that makes it more effective in transporting oxygen in an extra cold, low oxygen environment. Octopuses have nine brains. One brain controls the nervous system, where all the analysis and decision making take takes places and also it also has nine small brains located each of eight arms these eight brains help them make perfect movement balance among the arms i hope that everyone is earning sand alleys for respect responsibility and safety keep up with the good work it's time for... This is Jordan Hill. This is School News. First off, let's check out some pictures of last week's Read Across America activities. instruments. They took a piece of call assemble one and made it their own by assigning parts and developing a form. Here are a couple of examples. social studies classes sure looks like they had a great time learning about ancient Chinese dynasties like the Shang Dynasty 1600 to 1046 BC and the Han, and the Han Dynasty 202 to 220 BC. The students made artifacts. Check out these videos. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just so, kidding. I'm all right. 
So Eli and Trayvon, what are you guys, what is your artifact that you're working on? We are working on your bones. Okay, and what, it, so what is your way of reading bones? We are, we are just tracing and we're trying to find if we see any symbols oh. when we're tracing. But what are you tracing? Explain what we're cut. What we did is we cut out the side and then we crumpled it up. Can you hold it up to me? Oh wow, that's a lot of work. That is. We have to te we have to team up. <laughs> Why did I get the heart? Oh. Yeah. Okay, and I'm also going to They look like oranges. <clears throat> they do though. Oh my goodness. What are you making? What is it that you're Oh, you're making Be careful. Tell me what you're building. So making a a dragon from China. It's a dragon? I thought it looked like the Great Wall. It's, not, it's the Great Wall of Power. And now it looks like either the tip of a sniper's oh like barrel or like an empty. Uh, and a what? <laughs> no, let's keep it ancient Chinese there, mister. <laughs> okay, looking good though. I can definitely tell that that is a side. I want to get a close-up of that. That is great work. That great, great detail on your great wall. I know. Okay, good job guys. Keep after it. Writing the people of ancient China, people of modern China, present day historians. Oh, okay. Nice handwriting. Keep after it. So what are you two working on? Uh, the bronze virtual vessels. So you're working on yeah, making, on what's this paper called again? Do you remember? Yeah, um, it's artifact take sheet paper. And then I have to write down the steps. But you're making, what are you making though? You're, you're showing... The ritual acts. Okay, cool. So, yeah. That's not a very pleasant thing, is it? I wouldn't want that. I don't care how pretty it would look. I wouldn't want it worked on me. Okay. Are these the scraps? Okay, Zoe. Why don't you explain what <laughs> what you and Walter are working on? After working diligently and persuasive speeches, Mrs. N. Miller, students invited Mrs. Smith and advocate for some necessary changes to the intermediate school. Some argue for bigger and brighter classrooms, more PE, swim, and art time, while others pleaded for healthier food in the cafeteria. They must have done a good job because they got two thumbs up. Check out these examples of some of their speeches. Dear Mrs. Smith, we have a spontaneous idea for our school. We should get more time to swim. One reason we want we need this change to get is to get exercise. You need to keep your body moving and swimming in the pool. This one time I went in the pool with flippers and I was super fast. Zoom. Another reason we need more swim is because we can learn how to swim for a couple of minutes. It's important to swim because you get more better at swimming. If we don't learn, we would never be able to swim. You would drown. You can also meet new friends at lots of pools. One time when I went to the YMCA pool, I met a lot of people. If we didn't have friends, we would be sad. Here are some ideas to help with swimming. We can have swim at recess. We have enough time for all the other stuff we do. We can also swim at the end of the day if our parents let us go for an hour and 30 minutes. Closing. So what do you say? May we swim? Wink, wink. Dear Miss Smith, are you always waiting for art to come because art is so short? We need more art time so everybody can actually finish their project because some people don't understand it and it takes them longer to do it. One time when I was almost done, I ran out of time. Another reason is that, it, that it's the calm part of the day. It's not loud and it doesn't hurt your ears like out in the hallway. Lila said she likes art because of the quietness. Last reason is it's the only subjects that you can be creative and you might need to learn that for college or wherever you work. Here is an idea to help. If you want to, you can go to the art room at recess and do art. 
And if we can't do art at recess, we can ask our parents if we can stay at school a little longer to do art. So can we please have a longer art time? Sincerely, Molly Billings. Dear Miss Smith, have you ever ate something from the school? Yuck, ick, ack. We need a better breakfast. One reason this is a problem is because not everyone likes the breakfast, because some people just walk by like nothing's there. Breakfast is the most important thing of the day. Another reason is because the milk is gross. Ew. This one time I opened a milk carton and it had chunks in it. My friend Norma says it tastes like a cardboard box. The milk is old. If there was a healthier breakfast, the students would be ready to learn. If it, if it was solved, then the students would be raising their hands and they'd be really up. Here are some ideas to help. Cinnamon rolls, fresh fruit, stuff with nutrients, and French toast too. Happy Valentine's Day. Now let's check in with the library. Readers from Intermediate School. I hope you're all doing well. We wanted to give a quick shout out to all of the top checked out books from our library since the new year, since January. So Mrs. Greta, what are the top 10 books? Our top 10 books are Guts, Dog Man, Five Nights at Freddy's, Always Checked Out, I Survived the Sinking of the Titanic, Drama, Ghosts, Sisters, Click, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Dragon in a Bag. How awesome is that? I love that the new I Survived, the Sinking of the Titanic, the historical fiction graphic novel. Is that what the one it is? Yes. That's awesome. I'm glad to see that that's on there. Yes, Boys sure. and girls, don't forget that we are still working on our January to June reading challenge. So if you haven't been working on it or if you're thinking of, if you're having a hard time thinking of some great books to read, maybe you should come down and try to check out one of our top checked out books from the library. Have a great week. Enjoy. We are going to end our episode with a moment of mindfulness with Mrs. Fridman. Hi everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Fridman's Moments of Mindfulness. Today we're going to do a breathing technique that I think we've done before, but it's really important and it really is helpful. And all it is is a breath where you breathe in for five seconds and then you hold it for five seconds and then you exhale for five seconds. So let's try it. We're going to inhale. Hold and exhale. That can be used anytime you're feeling anxious, stressed, or just need to recenter yourself. Go ahead and try it. I'll see you next time. This brings an end to our broadcast today. Remember to treat others the way you want to be treated. Do what you're supposed to do and keep yourself and others from harm. Okay, say it with me. We are respectful, we are responsible, we are safe. We are red, raider, strong.